In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of HNO3, nitric acid. Now, the method that I prefer to use when drawing the Lewis structures of acids is I like to take away the hydrogen first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the Lewis structure of nitrate, and then I'm going to add hydrogen to it. So what I need to do is I need to add up the valence electrons. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. Oxygen has six, but we need to multiply that by three. And then we need to add one because of the negative charge. Three times six is 18. 18 plus five is 23 plus one. So we have 24 valence electrons. Because 24 is a multiple of eight, the central nitrogen atom will not have any lone pairs on it. Now, nitrogen is a second row element in the periodic table which means that it cannot have an expanded octet. It can't have more than eight electrons. And since we know that it's only going to have bonds and no lone pairs, and nitrogen wants to have eight electrons, we're going to need four bonds. One, two, three, four. So now nitrogen has eight electrons around it. Now every oxygen atom wants to have eight electrons as well. So whenever oxygen has two bonds, it's going to have two lone pairs, so it has a total of eight around it. When oxygen has three bonds, it's going to have three lone pairs. Now, what we need to do next is we need to consider something known as formal charge. In order to calculate the formal charge of an element, you could use the simplified formula. It's equal to the valence electrons of that element in its natural state minus the bonds and dots attached to the element in the compound, or in the polyatomic ion. So in the case of nitrogen, it has five valence electrons, but in this structure, it has a total of four bonds, and it has no dots. So five minus four is plus one. Thus, the nitrogen has a positive formal charge. Now let's calculate the formal charge of the oxygen on top. So oxygen has six valence electrons. In this structure, it has two bonds, and it has two lone pairs, which is four dots. Two plus four is six, so it's six minus six, which is zero. Thus, whenever oxygen has two bonds, it's going to be neutral in charge. But here it has one bond. It's going to have a charge. And so in this structure, nitrogen, I mean, oxygen has one bond, but it has three lone pairs, or six dots. So we get 6 minus 7, which is negative 1. So each of these two oxygen atoms have a minus 1 charge. So this is the Lewis structure of the nitrate ion. So to find the Lewis structure of nitric acid, we simply need to react this with a hydrogen ion. Now, what part of this structure will interact with the hydrogen ion? We know that opposites attract. Hydrogen, with its positive charge, is going to be attracted to the oxygen with a negative charge. And so oxygen is going to use one of its lone pairs to form a bond between itself and hydrogen. And so we're going to get a Lewis structure that looks like this. So now this oxygen no longer has three lone pairs, but it has two. The one on the right, I mean the one on the left, still has a negative charge, and nitrogen still has its positive formal charge. So when you add up the negative charge and a positive charge, you can see why this molecule is neutral overall. So thus we have it. This here is the Lewis structure of nitric acid. But let me get rid of this. So there's many ways in which you can draw the Lewis structure of nitric acid, but this is just one of those ways. Now let's talk about the molecular geometry around the central nitrogen atom. The geometry around the central nitrogen atom has a trigonal planar shape, and therefore the bond angle around nitrogen is going to be 120. And the hybridization is sp2. Now, in the case of this oxygen, notice that it has a similar shape to water. 
and we know that water has a bent shape. The bond angle for water is 104.5 degrees. We can't say that this bond angle will be exactly the same, but it might be something similar to this. The hybridization of the oxygen with the hydrogen is going to be sp3 hybridized. It has four bonding groups, or rather just four electron groups, one, two, and the two lone pairs. So that's why the exponents add up to four. That's a quick and simple way to determine the hybridization of any element. In the case of nitrogen, there's three groups attached to it. So that's why it's sp2, because one plus two adds up to three. So that's it for this video. So now you know how to draw the Lewis structure of HNO3, and you also know its molecular shape, bond angle, and hybridization at the central nitrogen atom. Thanks for watching.